Motion isn't just decoration, it's, it actually adds life to your designs. And when used right, it can even add practicality, intention to your design, especially when it comes to product design and web design. However, it can also be very, very useful when you're presenting your work. That, that could be on a portfolio or social media. And today, I'll show you how we can use Motion to present your UI design elements. And that could be used for actual products, it could be used for your social media, it could be used for your portfolio. And we're gonna do this very, very easily on jitter.video which is a free platform that you can use right now you learn the principles the setup how to make ui animations feel clean and intentional and we're also going to learn how to loop it so let's dive right in all right so i have a couple of design elements here that i've designed for a recent project so you can use them i'll, I'll, I'll leave a link to it if you want to follow along or you can use your own ui elements so first and foremost we'll start by creating our animation frame for me i'm going for the vertical format i'm gonna go with 1080 by 1350. this is going to be your animation frame you can have it in whatever size uh, or background uh, you want i'll add in uh, one of my elements just so i can give this a background and see how dark i want um, the background to be in terms of gray um, i think i'm gonna give it a little bit of a, of a blue hue there we go i think this should do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag all of the all of these ui elements in here and i'm gonna start centering all of them i don't care if they're overlapping now that doesn't matter as long as they're centered within the frame Next, I'm going to go ahead and open the plugins, the Jitter plugin, and that's going to start copying the frame for me. Um, and then it should open up inside of Jitter. So there we go. We now have everything transferred over to Jitter. I love this plugin. I don't have to recreate everything from scratch. I'm going to start with the invoice, and then I'm going to start with the other two UI elements. I'm going to hide them for now and let's look at this all right so clicking shift in one so i can zoom to fit um i'll start by adding in a uh, slide in animation or maybe we can even better yet we can we can go with move and scale in um so that's going to be my animate in for this specific card i'm going to go left to right for everything so there we go and then obviously we can we can mess around with the duration here can make it a bit faster so i think 0.75 should be good to go for this so inside of my card i can have every element animated as well as the whole card is animating in so i'm going to pick this right here for example give it a scale in animation for this one there's a whole bunch of presets that we can pick from um i do think for the qr code i can go ahead and, and give it a mask reveal uh without zooming in the content should be fine um, I'm going to I'm going to talk more about the timeline in a bit but basically I'm just going to give all of these elements uh some animations from the presets nothing too fancy presets should be enough however for text animations I always like to go for the text animation itself with a text smoothing of none but for the effect parameters I like to go with slow down I feel like it gives it a bit of a smoother movement um I'm going to what's nice about jitter as well is you can copy that specific animation for other elements so i'm going to give that same animation um to the rest of my text elements so let's take a quick look that's fine uh, although i like a bit of a stagger so i can start with um this first element and then stagger in the rest of the rest of the text elements um should be good to go next is maybe we could uh, i kind of hate that it's if it doesn't feel centered so i'm just going to center this right now um these these misalignments sometimes happen when we're moving things from jitter into uh, from figment to jitter and basically i'm going to give this an animation as well of sliding in from let's do from the bottom up right and we can give this an 0.6 second uh, animation and we'll give that same slide then animation to all of these elements now let's see uh, let, let's look at this as at this timeline and see 
what things you know what's happening in here so card moves in as the card is moving in i'd like to actually start in all of my animations uh, and then i'll start staggering them the way i see fit so there we go everything is happening all at once um which is definitely better than the card animating in and then waiting to start all of these animations so we can actually start um having these animations playing concurrently however i think think the logo and the QR code should start first and then we can have these text um, layers animating again in a staggering fashion but before that uh, before the last bit um, where the price is for the invoice I'm going to start animating this element above it so we can have the animation actually uh, staggering in a nice way and then finally the elements at the bottom the dates are animating last i kind of want the last animation to be uh, to be on the on this element which is the main element so i'm just going to give it a bit more time let's see how that looks i think this is good the qr code is taking a lot of time so I'm going to decrease that. And there we go. We have the last bit of animation happening at, at where I want to direct the attention, which is the number, which is the main bit of the UI elements. You can, you can use this technique or use any other technique the way that you see fit. Now it just gets easier from here because we are literally going to group this. We're going to say card one animation. And we're basically going to use the same sort of animation for the rest however we need to animate this out before animating card two in so for the invoice i'm going to go ahead and give this an out animation i'm going to slide out uh, this and give this an 0 0.3 because i want it to slide out pretty quickly and for the slide by i want it to be uh, to to animate to the right not by 300 pixels that's a bit too much maybe we can go ahead and give this 70 pixels this should be enough I'm going to add this into my group of animation and that should be it now okay so for this looping animation i want the card to to, to animate in stay for like two seconds and then animate out so the total so it's like 1.5 uh one or one second of animation in two seconds so we're looking at the three second mark where it should animate out so i'm going to move this into the three second mark and then this animates out let's see so it animates in stays for a bit maybe it's a bit too much actually so i think 2.4 should be enough so animates in stays for a bit and then it, right here i think two seconds should be the sweet spot so animates in stays for a bit animates out all right should be good to go now what we can do is we can take copy some of these uh some of these design uh some of these uh, animations for the rest of the cards so we're going to go ahead for our uh, product completion um we can actually start with the record record um and i'm gonna use the same animation in if i copy this animation for this card what happens all right and then this animation i don't know what happened there but it started to work again so i literally just copy pasted that same uh, animation i think so right here this is good this animates out and then we have the animation in for the second ui element um similarly i'm gonna maybe take in the growing uh, animation and have the avatar here grow in take mm, take the slide in animation for the text and copy paste it into here so paste into here paste this as well we can start layering this and staggering them right as this is happening we already went through this so we don't have to re-explain everything and i think it's a bit smooth just the way that we want it and then we can use the same slide in animation for these two buttons down here again in a nice tagger fashion we're going to do that and then there we go 
this is done. So you see how quick that was because we've already, you know, done everything for card one. So we can start copy pasting this. Uh, that's these same animations. So that's done. Um, we'll wait in for two seconds, right? So here we waited two seconds. So when this started to start at 2.38, so around 4.4 is when we should animate out. Uh, we'll take the same slide out animation and we'll give my uh, record UI element the same slide out animation. There we go. And then take again the slide in animation, the move and scale in animation and do the same thing for our last UI element. It's going to be a bit interesting here. So stick around. So there we have our, our last card animating in. Have a bit of an overlap. There we go. And then here, what we can do is we can actually give this, I like to use for percentages, uh, the mask in makes it feel a bit smoother. Uh, and then what we can do is we can give this a mask reveal animation, but from as if like this bar is actually like growing from left to right. And I'm not going to zoom the content, but I'm going to have this animate as such. I'm going to give this an 0 0.7 seconds. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to have an overlap animation here. Should be good. Um, and then we're going to overlap these animations down here as well. So everything we've just done, we're going to overlap them. We don't want the animations to play one by one, but rather have an overlap and a nice tagger effect. So there we go. This is good. Take the same slide in animation for these buttons. And we're going to give this slide in, this slide in, and all of the other elements, the same slide in. And we're going to stagger them ever so slightly. And I think that's it. So let's rewatch. First card animates in, second one animates in, third one animates in, and then we need to animate this out. I do think it's a bit too fast though, so we are going to, um, we're going to move this just a tiny bit. We have this one, this one, and then this one. All right, for this, I'm going to increase this duration just a bit and all of this as well, just a bit. Right, so it's a bit smoother. And lastly, we're just going to slide this out. So we're going to slide out the last UI element right here, maybe. Stays for a bit and then right here, it should slide out. There we go. Actually, I need to copy that slide out animation, select the frame, the, the project completion frame, and then paste that here. And that's it. We have now a very, hopefully a very smooth looping animation. First card, we see it. it's nice. Second card, animates in. Third card, animates in and out, back to the first card. And that's it. So, um, do you see how quick that was? And literally less than 15 minutes, we were able to, you know, to animate all of our cards, add in very, very like detailed animations. If you want access to this jitter file, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a link for you to join my discord channel. And you can do that by going on to effect or design and going into the academy, the community bit. And, um, you can claim free access to the discord channel. It's, it's free for a limited time, but you will have access to this specific jitter file that you can reuse, um, copy paste, you know, uh, these animations and use them the way that you want, uh, along, alongside other, uh, or helpful, hopefully helpful, uh, resources. 
Um, and if this video is helpful, please leave a like, um, subscribe, leave a comment. What do you want to see the next time? And uh, yeah, I'll see you then.